Alright guys, I want to show you this little trick I learned. If you have a rotary engine and you don't want to buy that expensive, like, what's like, 60, it's not expensive, I don't think, it's like 60 bucks, maybe like 100 something bucks. But you know you gotta buy the little brackets so you can put the, the rotary engine on the stand. If you take, I'm gonna flip y'all around real quick. If you take the stuff off your front cover, I'm not sure on the FD, I can't remember, there should be something here I think, a stud maybe, I'm not sure, but anyway, you take all this stuff off, and you just kind of dremel out the inside of your stand a little bit right there. You can take this thing and look. And slides right on there. Run you a couple bolts right there. I've probably built like, I don't know, at least six engines. So I can do this, hold this. This way. The only headache with it is you gotta be careful because like I said, if you were taking this front cover off, it's nearly impossible with that stud in right there. So, but if you take that off, you ain't got a problem. So, basically, on, even on the FCs, if you just take all the studs off your front cover, you can build an engine like this. And I mean, I haven't never had a problem out of it. it. Saves you a little bit of money. So, anytime you can save money, it's a good idea. But to figure out, I'll show you all that real quick. No problem. Got her on the stand, so um, that's the turbo I'm gonna be running. It's not the nothing fancy, but it will do the job for now. It's a on three performance. I don't even know the specs on it. Don't even care really. Uh, it was on an old Arc 7 project of mine. But I think unless I change my mind, I'm not gonna spend a lot of money on the rotary car. Basically just put together the stuff I got, make sure it's good, make sure it's solid, and then I'm probably going to sell that car and buy something else. Probably another FDR set. I really like to find like a really clean, all black interior, white FDR seven. Maybe like a 94, 95, but we'll see how that goes. Those things are not, you know, all that common. But anyway, I'm going to paint this thing because it looks kind of bad, I guess. The paint job on it's kind of, you know, mediocre. So I'm gonna pull the turbo off and just paint everything black. Uh, just paint it basically the whole entire thing wrinkle black. Then take me wrinkle black. I'll probably paint the turbo um, housing right here wrinkle black. And then we're gonna throw the flywheel oil pan on this thing and get it in the car. I doubt I'll get to that on this video. But anyway, we're gonna paint it and then we'll move on to something else. But anyway, for now, we'll paint it, let it dry, and I'll show you guys what it looks like. All right guys, the paint didn't turn out quite the way I wanted it. Um, man, I kinda already got started, I wish I'd have waited. Maybe you can kinda see right here, this is kinda the look I'm, look I'm going for. And this is the kinda finish we got, it's, it's kinda bumpy, but not kinda what I was wanting. 
but <clears throat> I found a technique if you take like high temperature paint and you just stay kind of way back <laughs> you know forever away uh oh that was a bad representation like I say right here and you kind of just like hit it like that you'll kind of get that wrinkle that nice wrinkle look I don't know what causes it but you know it works out pretty good you just kind of keep the can you know far away you know I'd say a good like two three foot all right, I'm hitting this real quick and then I'll show y'all the finished result. All right, guys, we uh, we let the engine sit. Uh, you can kind of see it right there. It's kind of the look I was kind of going for. Um, it's not too bad. Flip this thing around real quick. Got to go through and, you know, they kind of already, they painted the gasket or the sealing surfaces. Uh, so I really didn't go through the headache of trying to mask it off. So, but, and I got this little, got the drill. I was gonna kind of go through there and kind of slowly knock all the paint off. Um, same thing with here. I just kind of stuck something there to keep, keep the paint from getting inside the engine, of course. Um, yeah, uh, need to throw, put the flywheel and everything back on here. Uh, put the oil pan on. Going to paint the, uh, geez. I'm going to paint the compressor housing with turbo, wrap the manifold with like speed wrap, and uh, get the old engine pulled. <sighs> get this thing ready, drop it in, do a few, th few things, and hopefully we get to hear it fire up. And um, I gotta do some fabrication with my intercooler. I'm gonna do like a V-mount setup. Yeah, but I'm gonna get to it real quick, get this thing cleaned up get the turbo painted and throw it together just so it look cool <laughs> and uh, if it ever stops raining I'm going to go to the house work on the V8 car some so hopefully in the next couple of videos you will see either the V8 car moving and driving or either this car making brat brat noises which we all like if you're a rotary head such as myself sometimes Oh well, <laughs> some lessons you never learn. <laughs> but yeah, I'm gonna get this thing cleaned up, paint that thing, put it together, get just some kind of like, you know, little beauty shots of it. And uh, I'll probably call it a night. But anyway, I'm gonna knock that real quick. All right, we got the turbo compressor housing off. I'm gonna get this thing cleaned up a little bit and um, probably just check the turbo over and make sure everything's good. Um, all right, so this come off an old project car that I sold and it made its way back to me. So I'm gonna clean this thing up, make sure it's, um, make sure things good. And like I said, I'll wrap this manifold with some heat wrap and use just the stuff I have, get it together. Um, yeah, like so my main goal is just to get my cars together right now. Like so I'm tired of seeing them sitting around. We can go back and upgrade the turbo, upgrade the manifold and everything later, but um, I already got like a, uh, a good ECU injectors. I'm waiting on my fuel rails to come in. So this thing should be running very, very soon, hopefully. So, but yeah, I'll go back and like I said, paint this guy, clean this up, you know, try to make it look the best I can. Go ahead and clean this up. It's got some like some crud and stuff on it. That's not like, it's not scratched or anything. It's just like dirty, but everything else in the turbo looks pretty good. There's like no, no shaft play or anything, so we should be good. All right, we get this painted real quick, clean the motor up, and then put it together, and uh, we'll go from there. All right, guys, we got it all, uh, got it all unmasked. It's looking pretty good. I got all my gasket surfaces cleaned up. Got the turbo housing. Painted it a little bit. Might hit it with a another coat just to kind of give it a little bit more of a texture. And I gotta clean this up so you can kind of see that it's a cheap turbo. But anyway, 
right, I'm gonna touch this up real quick and, you know, go from there. All right, guys, it's crazy the difference that just a little bit of paint and sandpaper can make. <laughs> but yeah, check this thing out. I'm actually getting kind of excited about the RX-7, the rotor-powered one again. So uh, it looks awesome. So I'm pumped on it. Check this out. Oh man. Turbo cleaned up pretty good. It's nothing fancy, but you know, she'll get the job done. Like I said, I'm gonna wrap this manifold. And you know, later on we'll get a different wastegate, something a little bit better and nicer than that. The intake will be black too, so it should flow and look pretty good. And like I said, I'm gonna do like a V-mount setup, so it'll be kind of, I guess, in this general area. It'll also be painted black, so. Yeah, I'm actually looking forward to getting this thing in and, uh, you know, get my intercooler piping and everything all mocked up and actually firing this thing up, so. Yeah. That's pretty much it um, for the rotor-powered RX-7. Just kind of a quick update. Kind of getting the motor, you know, cleaned up, looking a little bit better, and uh, test fit and turbo and all that kind of stuff. Just for the, you know, look at it. But yeah, maybe in the next couple of videos we can get the engine out, get this one set in, get everything hooked up, and actually hear it run. So but that's all I got for now. All, like always, appreciate the support. Uh, make sure you like, subscribe, share, all that nonsense, and see you on the next one, guys.